welcome back to another video all right guys so i am heading on the road i am going to find a, a jamaican west indian place that sells jamaican food right we're going down the road to find it because guess what we know what's saying any of the jamaican food there i have to find it okay so i'll take you guys on a journey with me see you in the next clip as so always guys, the damn place is so cold. Guys, as you can see, it's snowing. Oh. Yeah, it was snowing earlier where I was. Yo, me not up, you know, hero. So <laughs> I want to know, but I kind of like when it's snowing because it's not that cold. Yeah, but I'm gonna have to zip up my jacket too and everything, so. We don't hear? Okay, yeah. Guys, so. Yeah, yeah, let's see what I can get. The last time I got some good, good Jamaican stuff, so let's see what I can get this time around. Anybody Jamaican, Caribbean, if you want some real Jamaican food, just come to Danford. Telling you, my mother, my mother was the one who told me about here when she was here some time ago, and my sister as well. So I came here once already since I got me here. So I'm just back to go and take up whatever I need to take up because I wanna know me, me and them, this Canadian food now gonna work out. So see you guys. Take that basket. Let's put it there. Oh, I see bread. Not all. All right, which the brown in this one? Which brown in I normally use? Different kinds. Um, no, it's, I think it's the same browning because it's, it's different. Do you have graces there? Oh, that's his fish meat sauce, different. Oh, you have the grace one? Alright, so this is the grace one? Alright, let's take this one. Oops. Alright, so I mean, I'm going to salt fish, more mackerel. So they have everything. They have, see, a special cream. We have coconut milk. We have any coconut milk? So they have coconut milk, guys. Grace coconut milk. That one you normally use? Um, I normally use Maggie. Where is it? It's right in front of you there. But I normally use a little, what do we call it? Sachet. Oh, about. these little ones, yeah. Oh, those take those grace ones. Yeah. How much? They can take up three. Guys, they have crunchy. They have oh my god. Trust me, when we Jamaica come to Canada, yes, on the meat to come. Because they have everything. Um Yeah, and soft drink. I don't know. 
try to try to watch my weight and keep off the sweet. Where did you get the salt fish the last time and the tin mackerel? On this side or this, this other side? Salt fish is right here. Okay. Alright guys, so I'm gonna get salt fish. I get this. Let me see. Get this piece. One, two. I think I should buy two parcels or one. You're going to take them to this, right? Yeah. Depends on how much you want. You're going to use. Alright, let's get two. Uh, let's go around here. They have salt mackerel? Uh, what? Salt mackerel. Yeah. They have plantain. You want plantain? Oh, you have it at home? That doesn't look good. Oh, that doesn't look good. <laughs> uh, Alright, so we still have pepper, right? Oh yeah, I have, I have, I have these stuff. I have pepper. I have whatever it is. I have these stuff. Yeah, we got them force ripe them for sure. What kind of mango is it? But it's not mango season now. Them mango yeah look force ripe man. Ah. Uh. Yellow yam. Oh, yes, the yam is finished? Yeah, the, if you're going to buy, uh, you'll buy one where um, you get some. Uh, you see down here? Mm hmm. It doesn't taste good. Oh. You, you buy the one like, like this here. Mm hmm. The trunk from the, uh, the middle of the But I don't necessarily need some sweet potato. You want sweet potato or yam? No? Okay. Alright, let's No, you have something for yourself, right? Yeah. Uh let's All right, let's go find the tin things then. Like the corn beef, because we love corn beef and and rice guys. Okay, tin mackerel. because uh, I have a few stuff. Mackerel is done that way. Oh, well, them have last photo guys. Big up on a shelf. Uh, I think it's on the other side over here. And corn beef. I think the, the sardine. Oh, so here's mackerel. You're the one who's going to use them, not me. So you have to watch what you want. Last time. Was it on the other side? It's over here. Oh, it's right here? Alright, so we're going to get the mackerel. Or should you get more mackerel? We're going to get more mackerel? I say it's up to you. Here we pick up syrup. Or was it the other side? What kind of syrup is that? 
the drinking syrup, the um, flavor pineapple ginger. Oh, I like. Yes. Yeah. Was it the other side? You want to turn around or are you gonna go around? So guys, so they have everything. They even have a meat corner where you get your oxtail, you get your fish, you get your beef, you get your pork, you get everything. Even Miss Miss Birdie. Miss Love them something you see. Oh, Red Bull. Maybe I should get some Red Bull. You drink Red Bull, Uncle? Drink Red Bull? I don't like it. Don't like it. Don't like it? Yeah. Alright, let me see what else I want. Coconut water. Let me see this chapaka. Oh, my favorite chapaka already. Hold on, Uncle. Um, pineapple ginger. Oh, this one. This is my favorite chapaka already. Have you ever drank these before? Chapaka already. That's my favorite flavor. Not this one. You wanna, would you like to try one? Sure. Which flavor you want? So they have the... Island mango, they have pineapple guava, mango carrot, fruit punch, mango carrot. All right, let me get a mango carrot here. I wonder if I should buy two. Yeah. Let me buy two. Um, bigger, even bigger there. <laughs> I cool is here, but I don't really drink this those sweet stuff. Yeah, and it's all sugar. All imported. All imported and all sugar. All sugar. Oh, they have um they have these two, Uncle. Cran water. Only let me take up some. So they have a meat market guys look you see me tell you and the last meat yeah come here come get the meat and then have the vanilla you say you have... uh, no salt mackerel do you have salt mackerel yes sister we have a lot of salt mackerel sister we are with food inside <laughs> we have salt mackerel over where over here yeah if you want the one there so the one in Spanish chef that's why you want the one that we all right, let me look. Right here? Yeah, like the one there. Mister people, Mister them all sitting there. Mister, hold them so big. Move because all them are chicken wings and stuffy. <laughs> That's actually turkey wing. <laughs> people, when it comes down to food, I'm not very adventurous. I don't eat turkey. I don't eat. I call it Cornish hen. I don't eat duck. I don't eat those stuff. I just eat chicken, like the regular chicken. I don't eat those fancy stuff. So I'm easy to be friend. Very easy. Is that our Jamaican salt mackerel look like Jamaican teal? Yeah, these are the, uh, these are all from the island. Where Monday? Alright, put these in there. One in there? Yeah, put one in there. I'll try the one and see if I like it. I don't want to buy more than one. All type of season guys, all type of season. Oh I have I still have my hot pepper sauce. Still still okay.
Yep. They're nice? Mm. No? Right. Take it or leave it. So guys, I think this will do me for now. Until next time, I'll just come by and pick up some more stuff. But as I said, I had I have some stuff at home already, so I just need a top up. Just by your name alone, mm -hmm. just think about somebody who said, "Oh, I am going to see this person." There's a smile on that person's face because you know, "Oh, I'm going to meet such and such a person." It bring joy. Just your name alone bring joy to mm -hmm. that person. Mm -hmm. But then the next person, you mention that name and your frown on your face. Oh God, their facial expression changed Changes. because they already know the type, the type of attitude and the inter how, how the interaction is gonna be. There you go. So it's it's already put them in a mental space of not want to be around that person. And then now you got pretend the person come around and you pretend to be nice to them. Pretend the person. to be nice to them. Pretend to be with that person want to be around that person and I said that's the problem yeah 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 we yes, know thanks. thank you thank you so when you're gonna pretend to be around people that's the worst thing you can ever do yeah it is fake fake and not genuine exactly so but sometimes you have to just fake it in life because sometimes you it makes no sense to even say to some persons that you know what you think about their attitude or what you think about how they react to things or whatever because guess what they will never listen to you they always think that you're the you're the, you're at fault they are never wrong okay so because it just puts you in a bad place of yeah. not even wanting to say anything to them but sometimes you're forced to communicate with them well there's a way around that it's how you use your language when you meet people like those you have to cultivate a different language uh -huh. and the different language is that let them do all the venom let them vent but uh -huh. well, you must come up with the final venom uh -huh. where your words are going to be more stimulating uh -huh. more kind uh -huh. more generous uh -huh. and they cannot handle that uh, exactly because they're expecting you to react just like how they are reacting yeah, but when they see that you're more on the calm side and nothing that they say or do will get under your skin it, it really change. ticks them off you know right and then watch and see how they start changing and they mm -hmm. said okay yep, now they're going to question what's happening to you yep. and all those things so these are the reasons why a lot of people today don't have a lot of friends around them because mm -hmm. of their uh, the character exactly yeah. so but you can't tell them nothing about their character no. them, them perfect they're so perfect see, they have never made a mistake that's one of the most uh um, disappointing thing when it comes to people who behave like that I'm so disappointed to them and when they tell me I'm very disappointed because you're thinking that you're perfect mm -hmm. and then you point and then say alright I told you, tell you what give me a, a few moments in your conversation mm -hmm. and I'm going to see your character your flaws mm -hmm. begin to come forth mm -hmm. 
They don't want to hear that either. They no, my God. You, oh, if, you, okay. if you ever think to call them out on their wrongs, oh my God. Okay. The so, worst thing you are, you're... You're, you're doing to them so when i hear people tell i'm perfect i say good good for you I'm there's happy no for you. there's no not no I'm such thing as you. perfect person but you have to learn to understand that when you're dealing with individuals you're patient you have to have patient yep. and to understand where they're coming from and you must display the kind of things that will make them stop and think and say oh you're not just like ordinary person and you can learn something from you you understand? Mm -hmm. You're supposed to learn from each other. Mm -hmm. Okay? So, that's why I find a lot of people are, every day you find them jo jovial and happy mm -hmm. and never depressed and something like that. Mm -hmm. They have to cultivate a certain thing about them. Mm -hmm. you, you don't put on a show for nobody. Mm -hmm. you, know? you just be you. Yep. And once you, do, you learn to do that, you fix it. Yep. And you move on and keep going. Yep. But some persons, because they deem themselves as perfect, they're not fixing anything. Well, they're the one so they continue they, exactly. They continue to go around and hurt people. Well, they're the one who end up losing, it, losing and, the cup. You know, so they're the one who want the cup keep running over. Mm -hmm. So when this cup stop running over, now can blame somebody else. That's exactly. what's always happening. Exactly. Okay. So they, they I call it self-inflicted wound. This is what a lot of people do to their own self. The self-inflicted big problems. And then turn around and say, okay, who do I blame for my problem now? Mm -hmm. So they look for someone to do that. Mm -hmm. so, so all these things is what is taking place in our nation today. All yeah. The people, but you live and learn. Makes sense. Live and you learn. Live and you learn. Every day in a new day, every day mm -hmm. in different changes. And then you learn how to. All right, guys, I'm back home. So I'm gonna show you guys all that I got for $68.65. All right, so I got three Chapicon Redeems. Got another flavor for my uncle. So that's that. I got my ginger beer syrup. Well, my favorite is pineapple ginger, but they didn't have the pineapple ginger, so I just grabbed that. I got two Supple Gen. Boost me up. <laughs> All right, so let me go over here. Also got me some Cron water. So I got them three different flavors. So I have the regular cranberry water, Cran peach, Cran grape. All right, so my girl love my saltfish. I'm a beet bean, so <laughs> I bought two parcels of saltfish by weekend and finish. So, but my coconut milk. So I bought three coconut milk. I love to cook my rice and peas. We have peas already. Shrimp in coconut sauce and everything. So. Got my browning, brown the chicken, but I really like sugar. And I bought two big corned beef. Like corned beef, you can't eat it with anything, don't eat it? It's salt, no, not salt fish. <laughs> with um, cabbage by itself, yeah. And you know, we can't leave my dirty girl them. <laughs> so we have treating mackerel. Then I don't I don't really eat snack, but for some reason I haven't had these in years, so I decided to just pick up two. All right, so this is what I got for how much again? Sixty-eight, sixty-five. Only tell me if it's worth it, cause we don't know if it's worth it. We're just buy things cause we like them, but I don't know if it's worth it. So you guys tell me in the comments if the price this worth sixty-nine dollars. You think it worth sixty-nine dollars, Uncle? Yes? Okay. Well, I got a thumbs up, so. <laughs> all right, so guys, let me give you a closer look on all that I got for $69. As I must say, I'm going to know if it worth it. You don't have to tell me if it worth it, but my uncle said yes. For here, now the cost of living, it is worth it, so, yeah. Guys, I never remember some of my salt mackerel, too. Yeah. 
So that's my piece of salt mackerel and I'm gonna think I'm gonna cook it tomorrow with dumpling and yam and you know the whole works. Mm -hmm.